welcome back to the Marriott Grand Ballroom where we are uh, having our third day of action in the 22nd Asian Taekwondo Championships. We have the men's under 74 kilogram semifinals between Uzbekistan's Nik. Kita, or rather Kazakhstan there, uh, Yerzan Abilkas and Uzbekistan's Nikita Rafalovich. Rafalovich, of course, was able to make it far in the Asian Olympic qualifiers. And he's now here to try to get back to the gold medal match with a win here in the semifinals. It's been quite a busy week for uh, Rafalovich after having participated in the Asian qualifying for the Olympics. And today, he's come all this way in the semifinals versus Kazakhstan. Again, this is very important for them to win their better. better. I'm Patricia Bermudez, he's on, and we are absolutely thrilled to be bringing you all the action. You have Nikita Rafalovich, who was the gold medalist in the middleweight division from Uzbekistan, and he will be facing uh, an opponent who's just ready to get going and try to get Kazakhstan uh, higher up in the medal standings here in the 22nd Asian Taekwondo Championships. But uh, you see it even outside the Grand Ballroom. They take photos with uh, the Taekwondo jins from different parts of Asia. And a lot of them have become friends. They have become friends. Uh, you know, exchanges of uh, address, phone numbers, Facebook. <laughs> you know, and uh, it's a good way to connect with the uh, people who are involved in Taekwondo and really see the friendly atmosphere of uh, the Taekwondo community. Well, we have 35 countries that started out here in the 22nd Asian Taekwondo Championships, and a total of 40 medals so far have been awarded to Jins from 10 different weight divisions in the Asian Taekwondo Championships in the first two days of action. Now, this is the final day, and fighters from six more weight classes are competing for 24 more medals, two bronze, a silver, and a gold for each weight category. And we have the men's featherweight, lightweight, and middleweight, as well as for the women. And of course, this is the final day of competition, and this will be a fitting end uh, for the 22nd Asian Taekwondo Championships to see more and more uh, new champions that, uh, of course, will be stomped as the best of the best in Asia. This is already the third time that the Philippines has uh, hosted this uh, wonderful tournament. And uh, the first one is 1984, and then the second one in 1994. And this is actually the first time that we're, held, we're holding it at uh, uh, a venue such as this. Normally, for, for Taekwondo competitions, you hold it at uh, a gym, a sports complex. But this is part of an entertainment complex here in Manila, just a few steps away from the airport, really. But here you have all sorts of entertainment and, of course, Filipino hospitality in every corner is felt. And uh, we hope that the entire Taekwondo community for Asia, from Asia, has enjoyed what the Philippines has uh, had to offer, especially because the Department of Tourism of the Philippines is very involved in uh, the staging of the 22nd Asian Taekwondo Championships through the Tourism Promotions Board. And uh, every day after the games, you see the players you know, who compete in the day, but nighttime, they're together, having fun, having dinner, and exchanging, ple exchanging pleasantries uh, left and right. That's and right. really just making friends. And later on, years from now, they'll see each other again in competition. But what is important, they made friends and became one as a community in yes. Taekwondo. Well, for now, we put that community atmosphere on hold as we begin the, the fight between these two fighters from Uzbekistan, Rafalovich, and Abilkas from Kazakhstan here in the semifinals, lightweight category for men. Uzbekistan, obviously, uh, Nikita with uh, a full head's height advantage. Kazakhstan now trying to initiate the attack. Uh, being a shorter player, it will be an advantage to him to really start and initiate the aggression in this first round. While Rafalovich still very quite tentative and just waiting, getting his timing, waiting for the right opportunity to score. For Rafalovich to make it all the way to the finals is really a testament to how he's dominated this uh, weight class. Um, but we'll see because Kazakhstan's uh, Abilkas here is definitely uh, one of those opponents that you have to be careful about. He's absolutely, uh, he's absolutely um, aggressive, and at the same time, uh, he's very, very smart on that mat. 
even if he's a shorter player, we can see his build is quite sturdy and stable uh, with his position, the way he stands after his kick. It's quite very stable right now, and it would be also quite hard for uh, uh, Rafalovic to so just push him out, push him out, or you know try to lead with that punch kick. Good attempt for a turning side kick, a little too low. Uh, no point on that exchange. Good 45 by Uzbekistan, but not enough power to register in the uh, scoring meter of the scoring system. Again, we can hear the 45 power, but not enough uh, to really uh, get enough level to score. Neither with those punches that you see right there. Even with the punches, you have to punch squarely onto the scoring area. Turn around, nothing there. But that hit a little too low. So he'll be given a warning and a little breather for our player from uh, Uzbekistan to uh, recover. And, uh, there we have uh, a referee from Palestine. Referee Ahmad uh, penalizing Vilkas uh, for that uh, little infraction. And uh, our medical team right here uh, in full attendance for our fighter from Uzbekistan, Nikita Rafalovic. He'll be okay. He's about uh, just up and ready to continue with the game. Now, let's take a look at what transpired earlier. And it was that uh, kick that... Uh, it's a low blow indeed. Yes, yes. Yeah. But it was very... Intentional. It was during an exchange and uh, just low. But here we go again with the uh, action in the semi final round. We have 4.46 seconds left here. And our center referee ready to go. And as we end this round number one, both fighters will go back to their corners, having to rethink their plan of attack. So far, nothing's worked for them in the, in the, in the first round. And uh, like you said, you're right. It's time to plan, strategize, and uh, see how we, they both can score and uh, initiate and take the lead. Nikita's strength, apart from his height, is that he's also very quick. He's but very you quick. can see also that our fighter from Kazakhstan, Abilkas, is just as quick as we take a look at what transpired earlier. Those were the exchanges, but both of them able to react right away. Yes, so right now both players are just really countering each other's moves. Uh, nobody really trying, or nobody uh, outsmarting the other in the first round. And so our center referee here calling on our two fighters to continue with round number two in our semifinals match for the lightweight category. Waiting on uh, the other uh, bracket will be China and Korea. And winner of that will also have an opportunity to battle for gold against the winner of this fight. Here we go. Two minutes, round number two. Good front leg 45. Jumping 45, a little low, a good attempt. Maybe a little more adjustment, but he can score. Same turning side, he's been trying the first round. A little quite far, but a little higher down than the first round. For Kazakhstan, you see him actually trying to deliver a higher degree of difficulty kicks. Yes, and uh, he's doing the variations to turn. And you know, if he gets that score, that will give him three points right away. Well, the player from Kazakhstan or Uzbekistan has been limited to very linear front leg 45, which he knows because he's a taller player. And he's waiting for that opportunity for a kick and an attempt to the head. Oh, there, they gave him that score. He's now up by three. And even if he keeps his game plan simple, he does have that advantage and that luxury to go for the head. Meantime, Kazakhstan's Abilkas will have to work doubly hard right now as we wrap up our first minute here in the second round. players being warned for not engaging. And that will be the fourth point of Uzbekistan with that second warning of Kazakhstan's Abilkas. Right now, our Kazakhstan player, Abilkas, has to try to really just not limit himself to singular kicks. He's doing that, but he's not scoring. But maybe a one, two, three exchange and combination will get, get him that score he needs to catch up uh, to this 4-0 lead. 
and he has the capacity, and he's done that with his previous fights. Uh, even for his fight against Bhutan, he was able to win 7-0, so absolutely superior when he's on that mat. Let's see if he can have that dominance again. But he is coming from a very tough uh, battle against the Philippines. It must have taken something out of him. And uh, as we see, uh, now Rafalovic is quite dominating him in the second round. Good punch. We've got 7.14 seconds left in round number two with Uzbekistan still with that four-point lead. And once again, a lot of adjustments on the part of Kazakhstan. What would you like to see? Uh, definitely, Bill Kaz from Kazakhstan will have to try to kick more, uh, do more combinations, even try a uh, higher level of techniques. He's down by four, a single kick to the head will give him three points. That was a good axiom that scored for uh, Rafalovic in that second round. And uh, right now, it's been Rafalovic all throughout that second round. And it was really his effort not just to drop it straight down and cut through his opponent right there with that kick. He was able to curl it, our gold medalist from the 2016 Turkish Open, Nikita Rafalovic, to get his uh, points here on the board. He's also the gold medalist in the Qatar Open last year and the Paris Open a couple of years ago. He also was able to get the gold. Now, we should add there that he was also a gold medalist in the Asian Qualification Tournament. And he's looking forward in just a few months to participate in the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. And I believe this player is very promising and uh, he has a lot of uh, future in Taekwondo winning all those gold, gold medals. But today, he again, will have the opportunity if he wins the semi-final match against uh, Abil Kas of Kazakhstan. Let's see if the Olympian Nikita Rafalovic of Uzbekistan will continue on his dominance here. So far, he's leading 4-0, but Kazakhstan is not going to be one of those fighters that will go out gently. That series of spins. Now, wow. now we see, yes, there we see the, the one, two, three combination. A little far, but it's a good attempt. But because of that, Rafalovic moving back, Kazakhstan was given a, a, a credit due to the warning for, Kazakh, uh, for Uzbekistan. Are you only allowed to take a number of uh, steps going back before you issue the warning? Usually it's just two steps. Back. Beyond that, the referee will call that uh, avoiding or not engaging the match. What was Pakistan able to land that punch kick? But uh, it was also the warning against Kazakhstan that got him his fifth point, and he's still up by four. Again, Pavlovich trying that front leg axe kick. And a kick to the hip. Will probably only wake up Nikita even more here. Was the kick there? We have another. Uh, well. Off the, the target uh, punch kick by uh, Vilkas. Palovic trying to front leg uh, punch kick with the left leg. Uh, no score. A minute left in round number three. This is the battle for uh, that spot in the finals match between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Kazakhstan still trying to play catch up, being down by four here. You have a Vilkas of Kazakhstan. Well, right now Kazakhstan has to, to try. You know, he's down by four. He can't just keep on waiting. He has to do spurts of aggressiveness and maybe in those little exchanges, given the time, he can score. Something like that, you know, will give him a three-point uh, uh, credit if it, if it did connect. But again, 35 seconds, he has to try. Push hard now. Uh, Rafalovic is doing the same game plan, which is working perfectly for him. Just waiting. There you go, Good punch. punch. right there, delivered by Kazakhstan. Let's see if the 2012 Korean Open gold medalist will be able to overcome this advantage. seconds remaining here in this final round. Kazakhstan still playing catch up. Yerzena Bilkas only has 13 seconds to work with. 10 seconds. He has to press. He has to push. He has to do this more often than the remaining time. Oh, and Good turning long by Uzbekistan. There's not much time really, but maybe one more attempt and uh, let's see if uh, there's enough time for Uzbekistan to to just secure uh, this victory. Oh, another oh. point is being given uh, to Uzbekistan for that turning kick, which is uh, a four-point credit for the player. And despite all the efforts of Kazakhstan, only 2.15 remaining, it is a very patient Nikita Rafalovic who has shown a complete game right here that could be going on to the finals, and he completes that with a 9-3 victory.
and Nikita Rafalovich against Yerzan Abilkas of Kazakhstan will be proclaimed the winner here. And this win will allow him to be taking home at least a silver medal. Let's take a look at that again, Coach. These are the, the series of front leg arc skates being attempted by Rafalovich. That was the last score of uh, Uzbekistan, a four-point uh, turning long distance to the head of Abilkas from Kazakhstan.